Hello and welcome to the Inside Loop. I'm Hunter Morgan, Director of Training, and this week we're going to look at five digital marketing techniques to create a killer open house. Now we've all heard of some of the old-fashioned methods of lighting a candle to freshen things up and of course sprucing up the landscaping, all right? But baking fresh cookies is not going to get people to the house. So we want to talk to you about getting people to the home and ensuring that they connect with you as future leads. So the first tip we have for you today is creating a teaser video. This is a video that you'll shoot before the open house. You can embed it in emails, you can post it on social, but a few tips here are to include a storyline about why your sellers love the house, right? What do they love about the neighborhood? And of course, don't forget to add bedroom count, lot size, and specifics about the property. And of course, don't forget to tell them when that open house is. Now, one of Dotloop's integration partners, BombBomb, Bomb, has stated that emails with videos can prompt an 80% response rate. So keep that in mind when you're creating content to promote your open house. The second tip for today is to create a digital sign-in experience. Not only does this look professional because you can have your tablet, iPad, or other sitting out so that people can sign in digitally, but it also ensures that you capture that lead. Because if you just set a piece of paper out, you can't ensure that you're gonna be able to read their writing. So you wanna capture that email, name, and phone number clean. And you might also ask other questions as uh, whether or not they're working with another agent would be helpful. Now, if you're having a hard time getting people to sign in, you might offer some sort of incentive. Maybe you partner with a local coffee shop to offer a coupon to those that sign in. Or another good example would be just to let those buyers know that the seller would really like their information because it is their house. They wanna know who's walking through here. So for security reasons, we need to capture this information. Now, if they're gonna ask you whether you're gonna follow up with an email, be honest. If your plan is to email them with more information, say that. However you decide to capture those leads digitally as an added benefit, Dot Loop integrates with over 20 CRM. So you can take those contacts and feed them into your CRM, which will also talk to Dot Loop. And of course, that information will help you populate the transaction with that contact's information for the future to eliminate that dual entry of data. Tip number three today is around virtual staging. Now I'm sure we've all worked with photography companies that offer virtual staging of rooms at an upcharge. What we're talking about here are apps that you can download and set up on your tablet in the room and allows you to swipe left to right different types of furniture or artwork on the walls. And your clients can save these images for later. Or better yet, you can email them to them after closing and if you'd like, you could use even Dotloose Messenger feature to send those pictures to them. Now, even if you offer this modern virtual staging approach that's live during your open house, you might still consider printing off the old uh, digital floor plans, right? They provide the square footage of the house so that clients can take those with them and see how their furniture fits into the room. Tip number four today actually comes from a marketing guru, Gary Vaynerchuk, who suggests using a Facebook Live video during your normal open house to increase engagement remotely. So buyers who can't get there due to distance or inclement weather, or they're just sleeping in, uh, this allows them to ask questions. You can hold up your tablet or computer and show them the size of the master bathroom. It's a great way to engage people who can't make it there or don't care to make the trip. All right, you can also use this video that you've taken to post to your website to get additional traffic after the open house is over. And the final tip for today, tip number five, is to cross market with your service providers those open houses that you're holding. So here's an example. You contact your lender and you offer them in exchange for putting out their payment flyers with all of their loan options, as well as their business card, which gives them exclusive visibility that they're going to share your open house across their social media channels and through their email networks. If you want to dive deeper on this topic, we've linked a great article in our blog below. Thank you for watching this week's episode of The Inside Loop. Don't forget to subscribe, and we'll see you next time.